Hello everyone, so it's been a while a little bit while I was away actually flying. The weather was good, so I sacrificed one uh, working day on my RV-10 and decided to fly. Another weekend when I had time to work, unfortunately I was a little bit sick, I got some thro sore throat and uh, well just didn't feel to work. Anyway, today I have this team of professional helpers, actually of professional airplane assemblers. That's one of my daughters and another my daughter. That's a Maria and a Elizabeth and they're going to be helping me today to work on my RV-10 towards the uh, towards the elevators. So basically today we're going to be a starting assembly of the elevators of my RV-10. So let's watch, let's see how it's going to happen and again it's going to be lots of work here as you can see we have lots of parts prepared so it's going to be lots of work and it's going to take us some time to assemble that I guess probably three four videos as usual before this part gonna be assembled in full. So let's watch. I'm not sure if I could read all of this. Okay, I can't read this small painting. I could read it like this big. Well, that was quite boring part. Uh, I had a 16 pieces together like that. I had to cut each piece onto two pieces. After that, trim all those 16 pieces, so 32 in total, but well, it took me a good while to, to, to make everything nice and prepare. So now I have those parts ready. And it looks like the next step what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be, wow, finally using a clickos. So I'm gonna be finally clicking the parts together. Well, so yeah, uh, so far so good, things going well, and uh, everything moves slowly but surely. Well, my helpers just just escape upstairs to watch a cartoons, well, which is understandable, they're quite uh, tired already. <laughs> well, so I'm continuing to work and uh, have more to go, and today my plan is, well, big plan is to attach uh, lots of parts on Clicos. 
Uh, looks like I won't be touching any skins today, it's just gonna be the skeleton parts, but anyway, we'll see how deep I can, uh, I can uh, go into today. So let's watch.
look at this. So now I have almost pre-assembled two elevators. Well, it was quite um, quite interesting uh, job without any surprises. Uh, to be honest, everything is quite seems to be standard. And assembly of the um, elevators is very similar to the assembly of the rudder. So in terms of the surfaces, attachments, and parts, it's quite very similar. It's not yet fully assembled, I mean even on the Clicos. It's still required to add some counterweights, it's still, I still um, have to add a trailing edge and a few more parts, but generally most of it is ready. And well, my plan is for the next um, working day on the, my RV10 project to basically complete everything, like complete whole clicking part, everything, and start much drilling, which will honestly gonna take some amount of time because of the amount of holes I have especially on the skins it shouldn't be that long but we'll still have to take time and yeah on, on another note I'm still I'm still thinking how I'm unhappy about the Canadian requirements for the pre-closure inspection I mean I'm just thinking of the as the customer of Vans and as the Canadian who's assembling the airplane well Vans provides a manual with the steps to assemble the actual airplane right and we have to follow that manual I understand that it's experimental airplane and technically I can manipulate with the assembly as much as I want assuming the risks I'm taking right but uh, here I want to follow the manual since it's the first airplane I ever built in my life and uh, the problem is that often manual requires you to assemble and like to rivet the skins and everything and at some point uh, if you stop doing that at some point because you know you have your pre closure inspection so you basically will only have like a maybe 30 40 percent of the whole work done sometimes more but here is the deal for rudder and for uh, yeah for rudder and for the uh, horizontal stabilizer i figured some um, i figured some way of a little bit deviating from the manual what vans asks and just like jumping through the steps so inspector will be able to inspect it and after i'll be able to close it and with the same time i did most of like riveting of the skins I'll see how it's gonna go with the vertical stab and um, I'm sorry with the <laughs> with the uh, elevators and um, it's more challenging to see what's gonna be with my tail comb how it's gonna look like but what I'm thinking about is that well uh, at least for Canadians uh, well I don't know how large volume of orders vans get getting from Canadians probably some sort of manual or attachment for manual which will be specifically for Canadian market where we have to have a pre-closure inspection which will let uh, builders to build maximum out of the particular part while leaving some steps at the end just basically outline in manual that build before this step have your pre-closure inspection and after that build after that step that's probably going to simplify some things but we will see I'm trying to mark down in my manual what have been done and what haven't been done yet due to upcoming uh, pre-closure inspection anyway thanks for watching so for the next uh, business uh, working day on my RV10 project I will be moving forward with the uh, with my elevators and for now that's it that's all subscribe for my channel leave me your comments gonna be happy to answer those and well have a good one bye